Okay, say it enter from the east side. Oh, it's gold, gold, gold. So gold, 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 gold. So, what are you gonna do with the air crane? I'm gonna use the energy to make an air converter. An air converter? My plan is to efficiently convert the air into matter, decreasing the overall amount of air. But for that, it's ideal to have the converter use energy similar to both air and matter. How is that energy different from air? Elementally separated air transitions into matter in stages and eventually becomes stable. I'm going to stop its transition between the two states and develop a converter formula. So it won't be air or matter? It's a state that's closer to matter than to air, but it's still not quite matter. We call it mana. Mana. To think that one short utterance could hold more gravity than the light used to lure fish out of the frigid sea at night. It actually has a really long, complicated name, but mana's good enough. But it'll still be less stable than actual matter, so we'll need something to act as a core. The Epithea. And a lot of air and Estelle's power to recombine the formula. Using my power without the control formula will unbalance the air. It'll just flood out again. But we can't just sit here and ignore that thing. And... Yeah? It's a bet I'm willing to take. I guess I should be the one trying to stop you, but... I'm game to get in on this bet, too. I... I'll wager a billion gold on that! The theory is correct. It'll be okay. I'll return this billion gold to you many times over. Oh, truly now? Yep. Come on, let's head to the Air Creme. It's freezing. I think there's a cabin or something where we can get out of the cold. I don't think anyone would build a cabin on top of a sheet of ice. If we just had some fire... Oh yeah, Rita! Use your magic to give us some fire, would you? <laughs> what am I, a walking matchbox? And besides, using it on you would be a waste of air. What's the big deal? Weren't you just using it over and over again just a little while ago? That was to defeat enemies. What would you want me to set on fire anyway? Hmm, you've got a pretty muscular body. Huh? Well, I mean, with the guilds and the knights and all, it's a lot of work. Doesn't look like there's enough fat to burn very well. <laughs> That's too bad. Huh? Hey! What the? I tell you, thinking of a converter for air. You're quite the thinker. That's our genius mage girl, Rita. Yep, yep. Well, I had a hint to go off of. Come to think of it, you did say you'd investigated Zod, didn't you? Despite its amazing size, it wasn't running off of air. Even though it was a barrier blastia to protect the entire world. A barrier blastia? Oh yeah, they were protecting the world from the Autophagos. You mean to say it's been there for a millennium? It's as dogged as a philosophizing anemone. Same goes for the Autophagos. It's been clinging to that barrier for just as long. Alexei seemed to believe Zod was a weapon, but he couldn't have been more mistaken. But the runaway air was the cause for the Autophagos awakening, wasn't it? Ah, so that's why they would use a barrier running on power other than air. But then, what sort of power was it using? The children of the full moon, perhaps? It was actually energy taken straight from them. Inside that giant core, it continued to power Zod as a virtually perpetual formula. Most likely, the energy was taken in exchange for their lives. The light of life was extinguished from the children of the full moon. So that's what Miorso's legend meant. According to Duke, they did it of their own free will. They wanted to save the world. The love the children of the full moon bore for this world is what created the barrier. The power of love makes you want to cry. They sacrificed themselves for the world. The children of the full moon were protecting us the entire time. Huh? Are you catching a cold, Estelle? 
No, it's just... I've been so cold ever since I saw Rita use that water magic of hers. That's terrible! Are you sure you're okay? Achoo! Now it's both of you? You should just tell Rita to stop using that kind of magic. I can hear Rita already. I'll decide what type of magic I use, thank you very much. Oh, come on. If we tell her that we might be coming down with colds, I'm sure she'll... What's that? Something about me? Achoo! Hey, you catch a cold too? Maybe someone's talking about me behind my back. <laughs> That's Rita for you. Okay, so what does this do? Oh. Can launch these. A spirit symbol obtained. All divide to replace the one that gave up to that uh, cows. And where would it end up, though? Oh, there we go. Hourglass. Okay, that's one. Now we gotta push this other one. Hmm. We need to have a specific angle. Oh, we have to hit a very specific angle. See, that was tricky. Miracle gel. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. Time to get to the save point again. Is it me, or is the ground around here changing? It's because they're ice drifts. They move on the water and change how the ground looks. Wait. So if we don't get out of here soon, the path could shift and leave us stranded? It's certainly possible. Yeah, but then we could use a block of ice to float merrily across the sea. Yeah, you do that, old man. I'm not kidding. Stick with me. It'll be fun. I'm not cut out for fun. Oh, all right. I don't want to be stuck on top of a block of ice with a spoil sport anyway. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, time for a tough mini game. That monster's not going to show up again, right? If it does, you'll beat it up for us just like the last time, right? You're mean. Okay, I'm ready. Estelle, come over here. Now, I'll release the control formula. Once I do that, the air crene will react to you and produce more air. I want you to recompose the air formula into a stable formula closer to mana. Uh, um, I don't understand. Yeah, okay. The water element is strong here, so imagine flowing water and let your body flow with the air. The theory behind materializing air is the same as performing magic. If Estelle can recompose the air into a state close to mana, then I should be able to guide the air into the Cyanociel. Can we do anything? No. Go take a nap or something. We'd freeze to death if we took a nap here. We're pretty handy, you know. We can cook or fish or anything you want. Just tell us what to do. I wouldn't say anything. We can use the conversion formula we found in Zaude. That was for substituting life for air. Your life! You can't do that! But if this fails, then we'll all be swallowed up by a flood of air. We'll be dead anyway, right? We're all risking our lives. Let us help. Alright. I'll use your life energy to guide the air into the Cyanociel. If we do that, I think Estelle will understand the flow of the air without interference from me. All right, everyone, let's do this. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Why not? 
Ready, Estelle? Here we go. Everyone, come over here. Go ahead. Try and synchronize yourself with my formula. There, that's good. <sighs> Confirm rules. Air conducted by Rita will flow from right to left on the top line color. Press A, B, X, or Y for buttons. Ay. Air will leak. Oh, shoot. I almost filled up. The air is collecting in the cyano cell. The formula is working. The force field is stable. It's going to be okay. Uh, uh. Damn it, I couldn't fill it up. Did it require you to be perfect in order to fill it? How, what's the threshold for failure here? What happened? D did it not work? No, it's still under control, but what is this? Formula for reshaping the Apatheia. It's reformulating itself. I am that voice, Bellius. Judith, yes, it is I, Bellius, or rather, I was once Bellius, but no more. What's going on here? Could the will of Bellius trapped in the Apatheia have... Amazing. I feel the waters of the world at my command. I am the ruler of the waters. Okay, so did it work? It's gone way beyond working. I never thought it would gain a will of its own. Nature's mysteries will forever transcend the limited scope of our imagination. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on this one. Humans? What creature am I? Though no longer Bellius the Intellicaea, you have granted life to me. I ask that you give me a name. A being that controls the essence of a material. Maybe you're a spirit. And so my name shall be... The Splishy Splashy Watercolor Queen! An ancient word for the ruler of the waters. How about Undine? Undine. Henceforth, I shall be known as the Spirit Undine. Ah... I feel the power swell within me, such as the benefit of the air which you saw fit to gather for me. It wasn't any cakewalk either. Receive this now as token of my thanks. Yes, I got all of them. Even though I, you don't actually have to be perfect to get them all, but I guess maybe it, the cl I guess the closer you are to full, the more likely you are to get everything. Death contrast plus two alpha is the one that I had trouble getting during my past attempts. Yes, the timing is really strict on this one. Ugh, Dark Avenger and Moonstone. I already have Dark Avenger, I think. Or do I? I don't remember. Moonstone, max TP by 30%. Undini, we need to get the world's air under control. Please, lend us your power. 
Very well. However, my powers alone will be insufficient. Huh? I control only the waters. You must gather those who rule the other elements as well. The elements of earth, water, wind, and fire. We need at least three more. We'll need help from the other Entelakea, won't we? I. There are very few Entelakea left. Pharaoh, Gusios, and Baul. Not Baul. He hasn't taken in enough air to create an apatheia. Plus, he wouldn't be able to fly anywhere if he if he were to be turned to a spirit, unless he, unless the spirit can fly too. But we don't know the if he as a spirit would be able to fly at all. We don't know what he turned to, because Belius looks completely different as Undine. And on top of that, I won't allow it. Undine, do you have any ideas? The shining forest of Ariolumen and Reloise, the root of the world. Your friend Baul should know the location of these places. She disappeared! No, she is here. I feel her. It seems like the air crane has quieted down too, even though we're not controlling Estelle's power. Really? So, Undine is controlling Estelle's power? You mean Estelle is really free? Yes. Yes! That's great, Estelle. Well, things are sure taking a turn for the strange. Yeah, I never would have dreamed any of this would happen. But we finally see the light at the end. It's a pinprick, but as welcome as the rays of sun that pierce into the ocean's depths. Spirit Hunter title. Oh no, I don't have it yet. Guess I got the first Dark Avenger, but not the second one. I also have de to get the new Death Contrast equipped. Wait, there it is. Yep. And the Moonstone is uh, will help with people who have low max TP. <laughs> Rita, you look. Happy. So do you, Yuri. There's no longer anything shackling Estelle. She can use her power without causing any harm to herself or unbalancing the air. So yeah, I'm happy. Estelle's really free! There's no guarantee she won't overdo things again, though. We'll just watch her closely. If we don't, she might go back to healing people till she keels over. Okay, time to leave. Is Undine really here? Yes. I can't really explain it, but she is here. I can sense it. Does that mean you could summon her like Sheena can? Perhaps she dwells within Estelle. Well, she was created through Estelle, so maybe the two are connected. Very interesting. Hey, save the research for later, okay? I know, I know. You don't have to... What, what was that just now? Isn't that where? It came from the direction of Zaude. Autophagos is doing something. Sending even more of the tentacles. Oh shoot. What? More? Uh, more of the outbreakers. Fagos. No. Has Zaude stopped working? Uh-oh. 
Do you think we might have done something to set this off? Shoot, this mean if this is the case, would this change the would make it so the wire can never change? That would make it hard to farm. That is the true catastrophe. That thing does look like it could eat the whole world. What are we supposed to do about something like that? It's a touch too big to fillet with just my kitchen knife. Hey Rita, Duke said the Autophagos was born from air. Huh? So if the spirits convert air into matter, could we do something about the Autophagos if we had enough spirits? I don't know. I just... I don't know. But I do think it's worth a try. Let's try it, Yuri. Then it's settled. Baul! Yes, I see. Thank you. The servants of the Atafagos are attacking a city, Nordapalaga. <gasps> I guess we can't ignore something like that. Let's go. Why did things have to end up the way they did? At this point, there's no use mulling over whether we chose the right course or not. But we need to think about it so the same thing doesn't happen again. It's becoming harder and harder to make a legitimate living in this world. I'm not saying this should excuse what I've done. You can't go through your entire life doing what's right. It's sad, but that's reality. But that doesn't mean someone who used their sword for justice will just turn evil for no reason. As long as they were fighting to protect someone right and good. But accept that, and things break down to anarchy. I want to change the world so those who are just can lead good lives. A world where we can't have justice without making someone else the bad guy is just too sad. It'd be nice if people could just talk things over. Yeah, that'd be a nice start. <sighs> That's why I'm saying that you shouldn't carry this burden by yourself. Yikes. Oh, it's still daytime. Hmm. Okay, I see it. That black thing. That's what we saw on the sands of Kogor. That was Pharaoh's vision. This is real. Be careful. It looks like it's trying to eat the air of the shield. Is the Atafagos drawn to air? This thing looks pretty mean. It may be, but it's what we've caught on our line. We'll reel it right in. Come on. Yup, two of them. Nightbreaker. Oh, come on. They they seriously already overlimited. Nightbreaker is the one I want to target with Yuri first. I am so gonna make you Ow. Mm, that's not a very good combo. Hmm, I see. That would be better use Shining Fang than Pyre Havoc. Ah, shit. This could be a tough battle. Not done yet. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm glad I have Glory, because this would... Uh, even with Glory, it, this guy seems pretty tough. Now let's knock him down to the ground. Let's 
Seriously, I really need a way to connect these better, huh? Is there any... S yeah, if only you had Rising Falcon. Ah, shit. Got... That was bad timing. Oh god. Lure him away so he doesn't get hit by Aqua Laser. Oh. Okay, Melange Self. Yeah, Spire Havoc will do good damage while you guys. What the dirt? Wow. These guys have pretty good DPS on Daybreaker, don't they? I feel kind of slow now. He teched out of that. Okay, so Daybreaker, I... No, wait, wait. No, we're still on Nightbreaker. I should... That means I better change her to Fire types. And disable all the... Water stuff. There we go. This looks good. So I want to swipe out Pyre Havoc for like... I don't know, Azure S Shining Fang drop maybe? Yeah. Got stunned from all the spell spam. Hey, that kind of works. That was easy. I hope the town is all right. Let's go check it out. You know, hard mode that was a lot easier than Alexei. That's for sure. There's no secret mission to worry about either, so I probably contributed to it feeling easier as well. your position. We're gonna stop them here. Things getting wild around here. Y you were... I guess I'm saved again. It seems that this was the only city to be attacked. What bad luck. This isn't about luck. Where were you, Rita? I went to check the barrier Blastia. Its power had been raised, and I guess the monsters were drawn to it. The power is returned to normal now. Why was it raised? We thought raising the power would protect us, but it turned out to be the opposite. Oops. I'll go see the citizens. Feel free to rest here as long as you please. Thanks for the offer, but we still have business to do. We better get moving. You are all welcome at any time. Try stopping by when you have the time. Thanks. Ooh, I'm gonna hurt that idiot who brought the Autophagos back! What could have happened at Zauda? Those nutjobs probably fiddled with the thing too much and broke it. Thanks to Alexei, Zauda is no longer functioning like it was meant to. Greed always eats itself. That wouldn't be a problem if there weren't other victims. This guy just never learns, does he? Things are gonna have to hit bottom before he consider changing his ways. But they see that thing about to eat the planet, right? Even an idiot would understand the situation. I sure hope so. Nats was really working hard. Yeah, it looks like he's doing a good job leading since Belly has passed away. I'd like him to meet Undine. He'd be so happy. Not right now. Once everything's settled down, though, 
Let's give him a nice surprise. Okay. That monster. Paul Australia was no match for it. I can't figure it out. So how did we take it out? Maybe there's something different about us. Maybe we're using Undine's power? The spirits, perhaps? If the Autophagos really is close to air, then the spirits might actually affect it. So can we put up more of a fight if we get the other three? Who knows? The four elements alone could control air, but we're talking about the Autophagos. I just don't know. Yeah, and it's not like you can find Apatheia lying around just anywhere. There aren't many Entelakea left either. Hey, there are tons of Blasti all over the world, right? Yes, they're an indispensable part of our society. And cores are just pieces of Apatheia. So if the four spirits aren't enough, we can just change all the cores of the world into spirits too, right? Hmm, then we may end up with as many spirits as there are grains of sand. Are you nuts? How do you propose to do that? Even if we knew how, we'd still have to go to every single Blastia. I doubt the Autophagos would wait for us. I think that's your specialty, genius. Oh no! This is your genius plan! Even if Yuri's plan worked, all the Blastia would stop working, wouldn't they? Yeah, I guess so. All the cores would be gone. What would the world become? People would lose the safety promised by the barriers. All the functions that the Blastia maintained, gone. It'll be inconvenient, to say the least. Even Bodhi Blastia wouldn't work. Ugh. Who cares? Blastia or no Blastia, a single ore is all I need to cross the ocean. I admire your spirit, Patty. Well, isn't that all fine and dandy? There'll be a lot of unhappy people, but we have to do it. Otherwise, the world will fall to the Autophagos, even if no one else ever understands why. Well, for now, let's just get the four elemental spirits. Aye, we'll cross those other bridges when we come to them. Baul knows where the other Antelikea are, right? We wonder if doing this would turn us against the entire world. Yeah, let's get back to the ship and ask him. Ew! I can't believe the Autophagos could spawn such a disgusting monster! Oh. The illusion Pharaoh showed us. He was trying to make us feel the power of the Autophagos. But it's no illusion this time. Oh man, are hordes of these things just gonna attack everything? <laughs> ah! Ow! Hey, no fighting! It's all right, Repeat. He's just a little nervous, that's all. And what's wrong with being a little nervous? I'm not gonna run away or anything, I swear! The shining forest of Area Lumen and the root of the world, Reloise. I've never heard of those places. If only we could glimpse them. It would make things far easier. <sighs> Baul says he knows. However... Hmm? He doesn't want to tell us. Huh? Apatheas only come from the death of Intelikea. He doesn't want to put his friends in danger. Baul, listen. We want to protect the world, but we don't want to sacrifice anyone for it. We won't just take the Apatheia by force. Baul, please. Tell us where the Entelikea are. Area Lumen is in the northeast part of Tulbikia. Reloise is on the continent of Wakea. Thank you, Baul. We also need to go to the sands of Kogor, where Pharaoh is. Right. Northeast Tolbikia. I wonder if that's the place where a new land just recently crystallized. Wakea is that continent to the south of Ilikia, where the capital is, right? Wakea. The Emperor Calx III sent scouting parties four times in order to claim the land, but every time they lost communication and no one ever returned. It's the last unexplored land on Terkalumarais. Why does it have to be a place like that? <laughs> <laughs>
How'd they all die there? They're... At worst, there's like level 50 greater skunks. If Wake is that bad, then let's leave Reloise for last. He says he'll leave things up to you. Thanks, Baul. Let's go. We can't exactly dawdle forever. Do you mind if I step away for a bit? I'd like to talk to the mages here about spirit conversion. Sure, go ahead. All their Blastia research might be useless pretty soon anyway. Alright, I'll try to not to be too long. So that's about the long and short of it. Wow, things have gotten pretty bad. Spirits, huh? So you're saying you want to take our Blastia research away from us? People can't live without Blastia. I don't like this idea one bit. You all sure talk big for a bunch of amateurs with underfunded research that no one cares about. What do you say? You want to rumble? I didn't come here to listen to you have your petty arguments. Can you just put your emotions on hold for a few minutes? Anyway, it's as I told you. We, may we mages will soon be unable to simply continue with our studies of Blastia. I just thought it would be best if I let you know. We can't accept what you've told us. Even if you're the best brain in Espio, you're still a child. Adults are reluctant to pay heed to the words of one so young as you. Surely that's all it is. That's really not the issue here. Adults have their own way of discussing things, you just leave everything to us. Right, we'll do something about that stubborn bunch. Sorry about that, come on, let's go. Is it really okay to leave so soon? I mean... It's fine, let's go. Hey, it's the healer girl. Hi. The tree's flowers look as red as ever. Too bad about the bride's curse. I'm pretty sure that's wrong, Yuri. Wrong? What's wrong? This veil, it told me. Once upon a time, there lived a kind-hearted prince named Jare. He adored flowers and insects, and he loved the moon, the sun, and the stars up in the sky. One day, Jare found a seed. He took the seed to the top of a great hill and planted it there. In time, the seed sprouted and became a long, thin trunk of a tree, but its flowers did not bloom. The impatient Prime Minister said, What's the point if it won't bloom? Cut it down! But Jari replied, Even if it doesn't bloom, it's putting all of its effort into growing. Cutting it down would be a terrible thing to do. Hearing this, the tree took the form of a young woman, and appeared before Jari. He instantly fell in love with her white skin and beautiful figure. On a moonlit night, he asked her to marry him. After the wedding, the two of them were as happy as can be. With the pr Prime Minister angry that the prince had married, the maiden had cr her cruelly c cast out of the castle. Jari was so sad that he shut himself up in the castle. Day and night he cried, unable to think of anything but his lost love. The maiden le learned of this and stretched her trunk and branches until several pure white flowers bloomed from their tips. Jari saw this from his castle window and stopped crying. He went outside, for the first time his since his maiden had gone. Seeing beneath the newly bloomed flowers, he heard a maiden's voice. Don't cry, you'll always be able to find me here. It was then that Jari realized that his love had actually been the tree, transformed to a fair maiden. When he gently kissed the bark of the tree he had loved, all of its flowers turned to a bright red. And that is why this tree's flowers symbolize the eternal love, permanent and unchanging. Wow, so that's why the flowers are red. So that's the real story. Miss, thank you for the wonderful story. No, it was my pleasure. You should tell that story to the mayor, too. Well, I didn't know about all that, Estelle. Yeah, when did you find all that out? Well, I didn't find out about, uh, out about it exactly. I sort of made it up. But you said the veil told you. That was a lie. I'm sorry. I was just looking at this veil, and the story came to me all of a sudden. Well, Estelle, you have a real talent for making up stories. A hidden talent, huh? Well, wonders never cease. Oh, heh. You ever think about becoming a writer of, of children's stories? Not really. You can't force her into something like that. After all, Estelle, you're a princess. Yes, that's true. Children's stories, hmm? Maybe it wouldn't hurt to at least give it some thought, right?
Okay, I have to re-enter the city for this scene. What the? Wait. Thank you for the lovely story. The story? You mean the story that is still made up? Who are you? I have dwelled at the base of this tree for many generations. If you wish to give me a name, you could refer to me as the flower maiden of your story. So you mean that really happened? Those children saw me, and I'm afraid that started an unfortunate rumor. You mean the story of the bride's ghost? Yes, and I even dropped my veil. Oh, so this is yours. Let me give it back to you. No, I shall let you keep that. Thanks to you, the unfortunate rumor was put to rest. But no, I mean, I was just making that story up. No, I shall give you another token of my gratitude. Huh? Sounds like this thing only cares about PR. Only cares about its reputation. I've given you a new ability. Perhaps it will help you protect your companions. Farewell. Ah. What was that? An elemental spirit, I think. Huh? But I thought elemental spirits came from Elantilakea. This one somehow formed... Uh, naturally? There's a barrier Blastia here, which means that there's a Blastia core, which could be the source of an elemental spirit. The cell's power put air into the core, and that created an elemental spirit. Or perhaps the tree and the Blastia did that by themselves? Hmm, very interesting. It sort of takes the flowers out of the equation, though. But don't you think the idea of a flower spirit is a little romantic? I've decided. After our fight with the Autophagos is over, I'm going to become a writer. What? I want to be able to spread joy, like what happened with those children and that spirit. I want to make everyone happy like I did for the people in, in this town. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to you, but it's still going to be the... Yow! Alright, let's go. You're not thinking of jumping, are you? Do I really look that depressed? You look like you've been worried about the blast in your heart. Looks like I can't keep anything from you, kid. Sorry I tried. Damn it, why do I have to let something like this get me all torn up after so long? You want to keep on living, don't you? It's only natural. Oh yeah. I guess that would be only natural, wouldn't it? Do you just now remember? You should go talk with Rito as soon as possible then. But it runs on life force rather than air, so... will happen. Yeah, I don't think- I don't much fancy being indebted to that girl. Well, I'll, I'll think about it. Listen, Raven, this is serious. Don't you want to live out your life good and proper? Heh. <laughs> My life belongs to Brave Asperia. I won't go dying and leaving y'all high and dry. I promise the boy, too. Now, isn't it past your bedtime, kid? Okay, I'll leave you be, old man. Crouch there, it's a bad sign. So, word has it you've been going around do and doing something or another to the world's Intelikea. You make it sound so bad. We've been getting Intelikea to change into a different form, called Elemental Spirits. This lets us borrow their power, which will help us break up the Autophagos. Oh, I see, it is as I thought. Indeed, I suspected that you would be working to defeat the Autophagos. Again, the impressive claims. I am correct, am I not? Perhaps it would be inter it would interest you to know that our people have been considering going down to the surface. Going down to the surface? The time may come soon for Cronace, the Antikea who carries Miorzo through the air, to turn to an elemental spirit and help your cause. Do you not think that likely? I'll admit it's certainly a possibility. The less patient among us have already gone down to the surface. Where did they go? I do not know, though I would imagine they'd be hard to miss. I wonder where they went. You can already find Cradians in just about any city in the world. Cradians can live anywhere. They're a very practical people. Hmm. A dragon came into our city. Do you know who he belongs to? He's my friend. His name is Baul. Cool. He's pretty big, but he's still a small fry compared to Cronace. Cronace? Who's that? Where? He's right here, silly. Cronace is the Intelikea who protects our city. You mean this big old jellyfish? He's not a jellyfish, mister. Show some respect. Cronace is so big, I can't believe an entire city could fit inside an Intelikea. Yeah, cool, huh? Even your ball can fit inside. His name is Ba'ul. Whatever, who cares? Cronace is way better. You know, you've got a pretty smart mouth, kid. Just who do you think you are? 
What do you mean? I'm just telling the truth. Judith, say something to him. He looks like genius, somehow. All Intel Ikea have their roles to play. There's no such thing as one of them being better than another. Huh, you're just saying that because you don't want to admit your Intel Ikea is already lost. But Will hasn't lost anything. If you're so eager, let's sell this right now. My pleasure. You'd better not cry once you get beaten. Judith, let's do it. Oh, so I have to back up your challenges. What a pain in the rear. We'll compete in the race that I made up. Lots of points are flowing in the sky, and you win by collecting them all. Give it your best shot. Uh... Is there a time limit? There's 10 points. Okay, but how do I know what they look like? Okay, see the last point. Good thing for this mini map, or I'd never clear it. What do you think? Cool, huh? That's not all there is either. I've got even better courses to show you. There are five levels to this mini game, seriously. Level selection. <laughs> Problem is they it's easy to get them confused with other uh, with other locations. It's really annoying, honestly. They should mark these off a little more cleanly, more distinctly. Oh, I see it down here. Shoot. Ugh. This is cruel. But I can pause and s pause scum my way to victory. I see that I only need two more. Dang it, bubble faster, I say. seconds to get the last few. What the? I never thought you'd be able to beat that. What now, kid? I made defeat. No way, I've still got more for you. Jeez, this kid doesn't know when to give up. You're saying that... Cronaze was able to clear that faster than me? That, re this re that reminds me of someone. I admit, you did well to come this far. Hey, you said something nice for once. Here, this is for you. What's this? It's condensed dew from Cronaze's bioly fluids. You can give that to Bowel to drink. It's Bowel. Will heaven when he drinks it. If your dragon is weak against the cold, drinking that will make him strong against it. He'll be able to land on top of the ice drifts too. 
Wow, you don't mind giving us something that's so useful? Just don't go off running away because you've got a nice prize. Because I'm going to make you an even harder course. Ha, huh, do your worst. Why is we acting as a go-between again? A book in the warehouse said this city rose into the air at the end of the Garayo civilization. Hmm, so that would mean it was on land before that happened? That part wasn't clear, but I think the city was probably floating on the ocean until then. Oh, so that's why it got eaten by a giant jellyfish. I don't think that's quite what happened. Okay, wow. One minute for all this. It's only in the Southern Hemisphere, but still. Hmm, let's see. Am I on track? Let's go to the next red. As long as we chart a path, uh, uh, an efficient path between them, it should be fine, right? There. Hmm. Oof. What's the path I want? A lot of the red ones are bunched up at the beginning, too. What? Not good. Damn yeah, it, they're placing the worst possible locations for me. I feel like. Oh man, we're cutting close. One more! Can I make it? Less than 10 seconds on the clock! Yes! I, I never thought you'd be able to beat that! Give up already, we're just going to beat anything you throw at us! Now that you had anything to do with it, Rita. Darn it! Are you convinced yet? Both Cronies and Bowl have their strong points. That's right, there's no need for them to compete with each other. You should have stuck to that argument in the first place. Alright, I admit defeat. Really? You finally get it. Actually... What? Actually, I was jealous of you and your dragon. How childish of you, but I guess you're a child after all. I mean, it's, it's so cool, soaring up high through the air. Ah, I know how you feel. Hey, come back and play again soon. I want to see Ba'ul again. A ball again. It's Ba'ul. Alright, after things settle down a bit, I'll let you fly around on top of Ba'ul. Really, truly? Awesome, I'll be waiting. Don't forget, I'll be waiting here, Super Dragon Rider. <music> Ultimate Red Cape. Nullifies fire, earth, and light. But it also increases your d damage from water, wind, and darkness. Hmm. So what's Baul saying? It seems that even he can tell he's bursting with power. 
awesome! Even until Ikea grow up, huh? Bo's still very young, so he probably has a lot of growing left in him. So young and already this big? Old Raven sure is jealous. I think it'd be better if you grew up in a different way, old man. Huh? Okay, rested at the house. He's supposed to have something for me if I do enough fatal strikes or something. Oh, miss, you came. How have you been doing? Or not, not fatal strikes, but fatal strike symbols. There's a bit of a distinction. Good, I've been watching all the great things you've been doing from up here in the sky. Can you really see all it from up here? Yes, as you know, when you do a combo, when you deplete an enemy's fatal strike gauge and hit them with the appropriate art, you'll get fatal strike symbols, but you don't have to activate them, you can just stack them. Pretty and still have better sight than humans, but I still think that'd be impossible. Actually, I was using this. Does that magnify the image of wherever it's pointed at? Bless you, no, I get a feeling it's something somehow different. They say that someone named Hermes made it a long, long time ago. But I don't know how it works. It's pretty cool, being able to see things so far away. Yeah, I love watching b uh, ball fly all over the world. It's Baul. Hey miss, you were knocking a bunch of monsters into the sky, weren't you? Wow, you couldn't even see that. Yeah, it was so cool. I even counted how many there were. You counted? Yeah, you know, those monsters that you hit up into the air and then they disappear. Poof. Sounds like he's talking about fatal strikes. I counted more than a thousand of them. You guys are awesome. Yes, he counts symbols too. That guy has a really good eye if he can count symbols and not just the finishing blow. You're pretty awesome yourself for counting all of those. According to my records, I only have 600 actual uh, completed fatal strikes. But there must be more than a thousand symbols because of all the art grinding I did. It was so fun watching. I want to give you something to show you how much I liked it. That's very thoughtful of you. I made this. It's for you. Thank you. Can you try it on? Alright, just a minute. What do you think? Ooh, whistle. It looks great on you, Judith. Wow, it doesn't look ha handmade at all. I thought you'd like it. I actually wanted to give it to you after I counted 300 monsters, but it wasn't ready yet. I'll take good care of it. Thank you. Think you can let us see Ball fly again? Uh, there's no point in racing anyway since I completed all the courses. We're invincible! We're strong! Unbeatable! Unwavering! We are Brave Vesperia! You let your guard down anymore and you'll trip over it. Come on! I was in such a good mood, too. You drop your guard more than any of us, old man. Oh, isn't that just acting? Oh, my dear Judith, how very perceptive. I guess it takes an adult. Things like this just whiz right over these youngins' heads, you see. You ever notice how the old man's ears wiggle when he's lying? Look, Raven's ears are wiggling. You're right, they really are wiggling. I never heard anything more ridiculous in my life. You never met anyone as calm and careful as old Raven. Look at those ears go. Uh, anyway, the important thing is to proceed with caution, right? Yeah, that's the skit you get for getting to level 60 on everyone. Surprisingly easy if you're trying to go for all the... Uh, all the materials. I see some... Uh, so, uh, a gathering point that might be related to a quest. Cheagle Fur and Spirit Fragment. Actually, Cheagle Fur is very, very valuable. I, that was lucky. What if this isn't the lucky item after all? No, it's gotta be. This fortune teller said so. But what the heck can I do with it? What will you do, Estelle? Me? Well, I might try using it to make a dress. Aha, see teachings article 53. A man of the sea must be lured like a fish. That's it. I've gotta use this to make an outfit that'll bait my hook. Patty, wow. Ta-da! You look adorable. Heh, <laughs> now to ask Yuri out on a date. Is that you, Patty? You're looking different. Am I? Yeah, what happened to your black getup? Seriously, Yuri, Patty gets all dressed up and you ask about her old outfit? I didn't say out I didn't say the outfit was ugly, did I? No, but that's not the point. Watch your words. Start by saying something nicer. Why? Because you said she looked weird, that's why. Now you're just putting words in my mouth. They look like they're arguing, but it's too playful. 
Back to the drawing board. So a lot of the search points also respawn, so maybe I should ch see if I can get lucky with some of them. Okay, I think I should pay a visit to Pharaoh next. Yeah, is that him? Pharaoh! He's hurt! Why is he flying? Did he not recover from Zaude? Any idiot could come along and take him out. He couldn't put up a fight like this. It's probably so humans won't get his apatheia. Human greed knows no bounds. Even the sky offers no sanctuary. Then there really isn't anywhere that's safe. Pharaoh! Hey, he's landing! I it looks like he's calling us. Let's go. Pharaoh? Pharaoh, come on! I'm sorry. It was all for us. What do you mean? Pharaoh was a decoy for us at Zaude. The fate of the world is set. We shall meet our end. Duty unfulfilled. How unfortunate. You give up pretty fast for someone who fought for so long. Sorry, but things aren't over yet. Zaude is lost. The Adephagos has returned. Neither humans nor we possess the power of old. What more can be done? There's still hope. There's a new power. We would like you to become a spirit. A being that can control air even more. But to do that, we need your Apatheia. You ask me to hand over my life. <sighs> Your heart alone cannot save the world. But you must have the heart to save it. I am not long for this world. Do with me as you please. Do I have to play another minigame? What if he doesn't help us when he becomes a spirit? Pharaoh loves the world. It'll be fine. Shall we? But the air crane here is all dried up. If I follow the flow of the air back, I should be able to pull it from within the world. Are you sure? Undine is telling me that. Okay. It worked! Hey, 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 hey! Hot, hot, hot! The Spirit of Fire. <laughs> I feel unlimited power! It has been a long time, hasn't it, my leader? I congratulate you on your conversion. Such consideration. Pelias? So you too have... I am now called Undine, the ruler of the waters. Hmm. Well... His conversion to Fire Spirit makes sense since he was already blasting fireballs at us earlier. I have changed form, so I too require a new name. You, who have reincarnated me, give me a name. The Fearsome Fiery Fireball King! We should let Carol name s some of them. Such a powerful, terrible fire. The Blazing One, Ifrit. I am now connected strongly to the world, and all seems new again. Even this wasteland is filled with power. 
Wonderful. His personality seems to have changed a bit after becoming a spirit. Are we sure this will be fine? What if he becomes a pyromaniac and burns the whole world down? Hey, he flew away! Hey, where are you off to? Fear not. We are bound to you. Wherever you go, we are with you. The Intellikea and the Child of the Full Moon bear spirits. Nature's providence is great indeed. Man, they are so different before and after becoming spirits. They have totally different points of view. It's like, imagine if a fish became a bird. This is better for them than being some sage, always worrying about the world. You know, we're up to our eyeballs in problems. Saving the world sure keeps a guy busy. Well, the problems we're dealing with are a lot bigger than they used to be. What? Why is everybody looking at me? I got something on my face? Problems like you, Yuri. A lot. I hear that. Fate is definitely out to get you. <laughs> After everything that's happened, I'm starting to wonder myself. But hey, I've done a pretty good job of getting us out of whatever mess we're in, right? You gotta at least give me some credit there. See, for Yuri, the end of the world's just one more problem that needs solving. Maybe that attitude's what's kept us seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Gotta love the power of positive thinking. We're lucky Pharaoh decided to help us out. He's a little extreme, but there's no doubt he cares for this world, just like Judy said. I've been hard on him in the past, but he has helped us out all this time. We must defeat the Autophagos and save the world for Pharaoh and his love of the world. Ah, uh, no cheesy lines. Yeah, come on! Honestly, you two should learn to show your feelings. This world is changing. What's wrong, Judith? One wrong choice could have led to far greater destruction, but instead the spirits were born. Sometimes we have to make difficult choices for change to occur. The spirits are proof of that. Maybe their current form shows the future the Intellikea hope to create. Yes, I think you might be right. One day, Baul might also face the decision of becoming a spirit. If the spirits represent evolution for the Intellikea, then... Thanks for tuning into this Let's Play of Tales of Vesperia. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.